Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to draw a shear force and bending moment diagram of three point loads acting on overhanging beam. Okay, we have three steps to follow reactions, shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. First of all, we have to calculate reactions. Okay, so we will take moments at, so this is point A, point B, point C and then point D. We'll take moments from at point C. Okay. So RC multiplied by 6 plus we have 10 kN, 10 multiplied by 2, okay, then is equal to 20 multiplied by 3 plus 30 multiplied by 7. So this is 6 meter, middle of the 6 is 3 meter, as you can see it will be 6 RC plus 20 is equal to 60 plus 210 okay so it will be 270 20 here 6 RC 6 RC is equal to 270 minus 20 so it will be 250 reaction at RC is equal to 250 divided by 6 so we will get 41.6 kilonewton at RC so it will be 41.6 kilonewton okay now we have to calculate reaction at RB so the RB is equal to total load minus RC okay total load we have 30 plus 20 plus 10 60 kilonewton minus RC is 41.6 kilonewton so at RB we will get 18.3 kilonewton okay now based on these numbers at RB and at RC we can draw shear force diagram okay so at point A is 10 kN which is acting downwards so it's 10 kN is here somewhere so it will be minus 10 kN then we will take a straight line at point B which is RB which is we have 18.3 kN so it will be 10 here and then we will go up 8.3 then we have to go straight to point E let's say this is point E I would say okay we will come down so this is 8.3 then we have to come down 11.7 which is somewhere here so it will be 11.7 then we go to point C which is 41 so we will go 11.7 to the beam and then we will go up by 29.9 then we have to go to point D so at point D we have to come down 30 kN but we are up to 29.9 so 0 0.1 kilonewton is a different so it's not a big difference so what we do we will just connect the line with the beam so this is how you can draw your shear force diagram for this type of beam so obviously this is all positive zone this is all negative zone okay now we have to draw our bending moment diagram for this type of beam okay in order to draw a bending moment diagram we have to calculate bending moment first okay so to calculate bending moment okay now we have to calculate bending moment so bending moment at point A will be 
minus 10 multiply by 0 it will be 0 ok bending moment at point B minus 10 multiply by 2 plus at R B we had 18.3 sorry so it will be 18.3 multiply by 0 we will get minus 20 now bending moment at point E so minus 10 multiply by 5 so this is 3 meter this is 2 meter so this is 3 meter obviously this is also 3 meter because we have total 6 meters then we have plus which is 18.3 multiply by 3 then minus 20 multiply by 0 so 10 multiply by 5 18 multi 18.3 multiply by 3 and then 20 multiply by 0 because 20 doesn't have any r so it will be minus 50 plus 18.3 is going to be 54.9 and if we this is going to be minus 0 it will be 4.9 okay bend a moment at point C minus 10 multiply by from 10 to C is we have 8 plus 18.3 multiply by 6 minus 20 multiply by 3 and at point C we don't have any arm so I'm not gonna write the value 41.6 multiply by 0 I'm not gonna write it so it'll be minus 80 plus 109 okay so we have calculated our bending moment now based on this number we will draw our bending moment diagram at point A we are 0 at point B we have minus 20 so minus 20 is somewhere here so this is minus 20 at point E we are plus 4.9 so 4.9 is somewhere here okay at point C we have minus 30.2 which is somewhere here and at point D we have minus 0 0.3 or you can consider it a 0 you can okay so it will be here somewhere now we have to connect this line with the diagonal line so it's a bending moment diagram in bending moment diagram we use diagonal, uh, diagonal lines with that and that's how you can draw your bending moment diagram for this type of beam so this is negative zone and this is positive zone that's it for today Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel.